check this out. So, Fred Reck went on Twitter yesterday and he was addressing how he felt about Freddie Gibbs and Alchemist's album being snub. And he disrespected Nas in the process. He said that snubbies want us to believe that the secret hip hop comedian members voted for Nas's album, which was trash over Alchemist and Freddie Gibbs. It's like a sympathy award for all the great albums Nas recorded that the Academy never even looked at. Let me be the first to say, first of all, that's a right to his opinion. And I feel that he shouldn't deleted the tweet. Like, if you're going to stand on something, stand on how you feel and ride it out. If you feel like Nas' album is trash, then hey, you stand on your ground and defend it. I can't respect anybody that tweets something and then delete it later. So, let's get that out of the way. And number two, what I don't like what's going on, and I love Nas' music. I love Nas. I love what he brought to the game. But he's been laid back for too long. I want to see Nas go at these niggas next, just like he did in 2001, 2002, when he was just going at everybody. I'm not talking about just randomly dissing people. But... Notice when he won the battle against Jay, he started going at everybody that was taking shots at him. He was talking that ish. He was letting his nuts hang. And he was letting niggas know, look, look, man, I'm Nas. I'm the reason why y'all rapping. But then afterwards, it seems like he had a sit down with the powers that be after that whole Hot 97 incident. And since then, he's been on chill mode. And see, this is what's getting these young dudes... The courage to go ahead and, and, and throw spit on his name like that. See, this is where I feel that a lot of the OGs from that era especially, they sat back and allowed these youngsters to just disparage his name. Disparage his name. It started even with the Hip Hop Is Dead album. I'm like, Nas nah, should have had smoke for all these niggas. Because notice this. The dudes from the 80s are operating on a different plane. KRS, he still, he calling out a rapper. Big Daddy Kane still want to smoke. Cool G Rap still want to smoke. They talk that ish. They want challenges. LL. But when it comes to Jay and Nas, it seems like they want to be all laid back and cool about it. You got to put your brand up there to where nobody can touch it. With the minute anybody utter disrespect about your brand, you better erase it. Now, in this case here with Fred Webb, I felt he punked out on that. Like, he should have stood his ground on it. If that's how you feel. But he don't want to hurt a relationship. And then on top of that. Then there's the narrative of Nas not picking the right beats. And let me say this. Nas pit was good for his style of production. He don't. If he picks a whole album full of Primo and Pete Rock. People going to complain about that. Because it's not Illmatic or Illmatic 2. So it's a win-lose situation. Nas picked people that can fit his theme of the what the album should be and king disease was that him and hit boy made a great gym together had great chemistry so that's my thoughts about that man fred wick you punked out on that one man you should have stayed your ground but he was wrong so that's my opinion about it let me know what you guys think subscribe hit the like button peace